Great to be back in Melbourne, the world leader in the number of people around whom you shouldn't make a sudden move. Wonderful weather for football. With me is Matthew Richardson. Hi Dennis, tonight should be a great game. Richmond set to take on the Cats in this exhibition match tonight. The Cats look tense as they shuffle onto the field. Banners ready for the players. Banners ready for the players. Umpire tosses the coin. Geelong kicking to the left of screen. The opening siren is moments away and you can feel the excitement building. The first quarter officially started. To uncover your true potential, you must first find your own limits and then you've got to have the courage to blow past them. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Kicked by Nan Curvis. Great mark under pressure. 45 metres out. Rioli launches one towards goal. The Tigers get a goal. Goal. That's the first one of the game. All is in readiness. Here's the bounce. Smith taps. The bouncing ball is controlled. Man Curtis won't get that bad handball. Asprey knocks the ball loose with a big tackle. Dangerfield feeling the pressure gets the quick kick away. Good tap from Hawkins. Grimes there to mop it up. Tap by Grimes. Heads up the corridor. A mark by Nan Curvis. Choose to kick it. A great effort. Martin puts it on the boot. Caddick spills it. Intercepted by Tui. Kicks it. Menzel gets the upper hand. The kick spins off in the wrong direction. Cockatoo taps it, gets the loose ball. Cochin with a clinical drop punt. McIntosh grabs that one. Choose to kick it. Duncan claims the ball. Duncan has no trouble getting up on top of the packs, but sometimes he just can get his timing wrong. If he doesn't lift, I think it'll come to the stage where the coach will ask him to be a bit more disciplined in the contest. That's a nice, strong mark. Loston kicks it. Dangerfield with real good use of the body. Chips it down towards half forward. Great grab. Kicks. Guthrie claims it. Jams it on the boot. Marks. Dangerfield slams it on the boot. Gloston marks on the run. Boots it. McIntosh with an easy mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Takes it well. Sends the Sharon on its way. The contest, no match for him. Loston. He's got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him. But he just needs to react a little faster. Meningola kicking to square things up. That miss is going to come back to haunt him. The Cats patrolling. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Good mark by Cocker too. He kicks it! Solid goal! The lead handed over to the Cats. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. The ball has been bounced. Cleared by Smith. The siren sounds and that's the end of the opening turn. The scores the Cats 7 to the Tigers 6. They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second rate.
Richo, how well are these teams performing? Neither team are giving an inch in the terms of marking. The Cats gone 10 and the Tigers gone 9. Richmond and the Cats are close in handballs. Neither team appears to have a distinct advantage. Thank you very much, Richo. The first break is finished and play is set to commence. Winning means you're willing to go longer, work harder and give more than anyone else. Smith with the tap. Selwood better mop it up. Nice work from Menzel. Going for goal number one. It's in the air. Off by a matter of centimetres. Geelong by two points. Rance is someone you'd want to stand in front of. When he kicks, he really kicks it. He boots it. Ellis takes the uncontested mark. He kicks the ball. Guthrie drops it. He takes a big bump. Ablett gets it off the ground, he kicks the ball, he drops the mark. He manages to intercept the bouncing ball. Cockatoo gets the ball, he gets tapped. Even under extreme pressure, he's got the handball out. Grimes kicks it outside the defensive 50. Marked by Asprey. Asprey is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Townsend gets the upper hand. Puts boot to ball. Dangerfield with good strong hands. He gets boot to the ball. Great hands. Kicks hurriedly. A nice running mark. Blickhands kicks it. Great grab. Lining up the goal now. Gregson will need to give his feet a pep talk for this kick. Gregson tries his luck with a shot at goal. I can't believe it carried the distance. That's a great goal. Gets his first. Geelong have scored the last two goals. Geelong by eight points. And there's the bounce. Smith with the punch. Controlled by Greek. Is in his possession. Possession number one for Deadwoods. Has clearly been shopping at Clangers or us. Selwood with a massive goal. Geelong in front. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Smith with the tap. Gregson made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Cotchin off for Richmond. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Smith guides it. Caddy taps. Taylor with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Tui aims for his man on the ground. Going for goal number one. Is it high enough, long enough, straight enough? Richmond, no need to worry just yet. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Geelong have just been really well organised and courageous in the centre, and that's why they've been winning the ball. That's a mark. He boots it. Selwood with the mark. Puts boot to bowl. Gregson drops the ball. He just can't get out of the action. Reload picks up the loose ball. Smothers. He brings it out of the pack. A good second term with the Cats 20 versus Richmond 12. Richmond were in low and hard early, applying plenty of pressure. But as the game settled, the Cats started getting on top, running relatively free. Richo, what do the stats tell us? Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close, locked horns in the tackle contests, 9 to 6. The stats show that both teams are practically kick for kick, with neither willing to let the other have a kicking advantage. Hadn't thought of it quite like that, Richard. We're halfway through this match and things are getting interesting. And here we go for the second half. You can motivate by fear and you can motivate by reward. But both those methods are only temporary. The only lasting thing is self-motivation. Gets a handball away towards the man on the run. Martin doesn't come near the ball too much. Taylor just stopping for a quick dance. He has the ball. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Guthrie's got under it. Guthrie wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. Strong mark there. Sending it on its way. It takes a strong mark. Loston kicks it. A good contested mark there. Guthrie with the kick. Dangerfield with the ball. Picture perfect drop punt. 
Takes that one strongly. Distance could be the problem. Adler booting it inside the 50. The mark is taken by Ellis. Well done to keep it alive under pressure. McIntosh runs past and gets the ball. Ellis gets the tap. Has it now. Scoops up the bouncing ball. He gives the ball away. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Deft touch from Duncan. Dangerfield delivers a nice bump for Gotcha. Guthrie laps up the misplaced footy. It's his. It's going. Smith with a massive goal. Geelong by 14. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Man Curtis with the tap is in his possession. Taylor doesn't make the tackle. He runs into the goal. Nice work from Butler. 45 meters out. He's kicking on about a 30 degree angle, which could prove challenging. The goal for Richmond. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Both Rucks have a fair shot at this one. Rance is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. Gets the loose ball. The Tigers coach using the bench. It'll be a ball up. Stanley didn't even get close to that tap. Gets the loose ball. Selwood hand passes to space and hopes for the best. Boots it. The contest, no match for him. Kicks. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Selwood. Stanley. Tapped on Gregson. Takes control of the ball. What a big hip and shoulder. Is in his possession. And that's the game. The Cats 26 to the Tigers 18. What? what? They're telling me that's only the end of the third quarter. Rams hand passes it. Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? Geelong have 31 kicks on the board and Richmond have 24. Fairly close, if you ask me. A tight contest out there and the possession count really reflects that with the percentage at 51% to 49. It appears Richmond have the upper hand in handballs, leading with 21. Thanks, Richo. One quarter to play. It's not over when you're losing terribly, it's over when you quit. Smith gets the tap. Asprey with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Slams it on the boot. Marked by Menzel. Boots it. Dangerfield gets the upper hand. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Hawkins with the tap. Tap by Gregson. He kicks quickly. That play is as high tech as it can from. Cochin gets the ball. Has it now. Asprey puts it on the boot. Duncan will be upset with that. He gathers the loose ball. Dangerfield off for Geelong. Man Curtis really gets onto this one. Duncan taps. He scoops the ball off the ground. Prestia taps. He gets his hands on the footy. The players have decided to take advantage. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Hooley keeps it alive with the foot. Handballs from the tackle. Asprey with the football. Selwood bumped off the ball. Goes by hand. Nothing presenting. He fires it to an empty space. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. McIntosh with the mark. Slams it on the boot. Spilled by Lambert. Butler with the hand pass. Tapped by Butler. Out of bounds near the 50. Man Curtis on for the Tigers. The ball is returned to play. Clean tap out of the ruck. I think he just wants attention. He hand passes the ball. McIntosh again, Richard. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. A set shot on a 45-degree angle for Edwards. Martin spills it. A rushed kick. 
He takes control of the loose ball. Butler gets the tap. No good tackling him there, mate. There's nothing to damage. High tackle. Edwards boots it. Kola Jasny has it. Kola Jasny has no problems mopping up the loose ball. Mistakes are rare for him. Parfit puts his boot on it. Smith marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. Boston with good strong hands. Sending it on its way. Asprey with great hands. Gets boot to leather. Selwood looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Smith presents and takes the mark. Picks it. Adlett has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. He kicks it. Geelong wanted a victory and they certainly haven't settled for anything less. What were your thoughts on the match, Richard? Richmond is standing around looking for excuses. Totally outclassed here. They need to get back to the training track and put the hard yards in. Thanks for that, Richard. Final scores are 26 to 18. Well, that's all we have time for. We only part to meet again, maybe next weekend.